There are many ways to dodge and burn in Photoshop, but in today's video, I'm going to show you one secret dodge and burn technique that's going to change your workflow in Photoshop. It actually changed mine, and I know it's going to change yours as well. My name is Akordidi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, kindly hit the subscribe button to subscribe. I have a plan. I have a goal on meeting 500 subscribers by the end of September and I will really need your help to do that. So kindly support the channel by subscribing. Without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and start editing. What we're going to do in Photoshop is we're going to create a curves adjustment layer. We're going to duplicate it and rename them to the dodge and then the burn and that's what we're going to use to create the effect. And then secondly, we're going to use the blend if to smooth in and then further out the effect on the image. So I already have my image it already i actually edited it so we're gonna delete this um this group so we have the raw image over here i'm gonna leave the link to the image in the description so that you can download it and then try your hands on so first and foremost we're gonna create our curves adjustments layer so we're gonna go to layer new adjustments layer Curve. Then we rename it to Dodge. Then we change the mood to Screen. And select OK. Yes. So now this is what we have. So what we'll do next is we're gonna double click and then create the Blend If option. So we double click it to create it. So we're gonna select the parts where we want to dodge. So this is gonna be done automatically for us, right? Yeah. So what we do is we're gonna use the underlying layer, that is uh, underlying layer slider to create this effect. So we're gonna move this. Let me move this so that you can see it clearly. We're gonna move the, uh, the, the dark shadow slider to the right. So we're gonna move it like this slowly. So you're going to move it until you see the highlighted part of your image popping out or standing out just like this. Then we're going to press and hold Alt and click to split it. So then we're going to move one half of it to the right until you see that it's even and it's feathered nicely like the way you want it. So just like this, I think this is okay for me. So I'm gonna keep it like that. But you can play with the other half of the slider so you get it how you want it. So just like that. So this is okay for me. So I'm gonna select okay. So now, just as simple as that, we've created the dodge effect on the image, right? So now we're going to create the burn effect on the image as well. So we're going to use the same thing. We'll go to layer, new adjustments layer, then we're going to move to curve. In this option, we're going to change the mood to soft slide. We're going to change the name to burn we're gonna select ok yes so now this is the effect we're having on the image so we're gonna use the blend if option again by double clicking and then we're gonna move in the dodge um, effect we, we moved the shadow slider to the right but this time around we're gonna move the light slider to the left so you keep moving it until you see some changes so this is going to affect just the shadow part of the image so just like that you can see the shadows are now popping out so we're going to press and hold alt like this and then press to split the slider so then we're going to move the other half to the left to smoothen and even it out to feather it out nicely so just like that we have our dodge sorry our burn also created 
so you're gonna move it and let's play with it so you get the preferred effects that you want yes so once that is done that is okay for you yes first okay yes so just as simple as that we have our dodge and then our burn effect so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna hold shift and press on the dodge as well we're gonna press Control G to group it. So let's see the before and after. So that's the before, and this is the after. So in this image, I can see that the bend was too much. It was a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come because her skin is already dark. She has a dark skin already, as you can see. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna decrease the opacity of the burn a little bit. Just like that, I think at 40 at 41 is okay for me. So I'll check if it's working fine for me. Just like this, and I think it's okay for me. So I'll keep it like that. Yeah. And then if you you, you think the the dodge effect is also too much on the image, you're gonna do the same thing to it by just reducing the opacity. So with that, um, I think I like the dodge to be more than the burn, so I'll keep that as at um, at hundred percent, and I think that is okay for me. So in a situation when you think the effect has spilled on where you don't want it to be, you're just gonna select on the layer mask and then press Control I to inverse it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna go to the brush tool and then with white or black selected white reveals and then black hides right so with white selected you're gonna just paint over the parts that you want the effects to show so in this case i want the effect to show on the face and then on the skin so i'm gonna just paint over the skin like that Show the effects yes so in a situation like this you're gonna have the effect only on the parts that you want it to show yes just like I've done over here so let's look at it before and the after again so there's the before and then there's the after just as you can see very simple and straight to the point you don't have to stress yourself or do anything just follow the processes that we went through and then you're gonna get your image as perfectly as you want it so this is the end of our tutorial today if you learned anything kindly like and subscribe there's a little secret that i wanted to share with you guys thanks so much for watching thanks so much for sticking through and then bringing me to this far see you in the next one